Hello to all of my Cancers and happy Motivational Monday, Cancers. This reading may go up a day early as you, if you're tuned into my channel, then you know, you know how we do. But this reading is for uh, the 28th. This reading is for the 28th of August through the 28th of September. Let's do it. Let's see what your cards have to say. All right, happy Motivational Monday to each and every one of you all. Let's do it, Cancers. Let's see what your cards have to say. Hopefully you all are setting your intentions and getting prepared for this full moon that we have. We have two full moons in August 2023. Hopefully you all are getting mentally, emotionally, and physically prepared for that. Some of the things that people do for in preparation for the full moon, which we're already feeling the effects of right now through watching this video on Sunday, the um, 27th, is um, some of the things that people do in preparation is divination. They cleanse and charge their tools under the moonlight. They make protective amulets. They cleanse and charge crystals in the moonlight. They make moon water. They harvest their herbs, you know, as it's easier for those herbs to dry. Um, full moon energy is the most celebrated of all the moon phases in the lunar cycle due to its association with power, right? So source is saying to you, somebody's intuition is at its high, is at their highest. And you are really a dark, I mean, a, a, light, um, a bright spot in a lot of people's lives. Here we also have the temperance card. So source is saying, see things from a higher frequency when you're interacting with people because People are breaking generational chain cycles and curses. Pluto and uh, Neptune are currently retrograde right now. So everybody is breaking generational cycles, chains, and curses. The entire earth is going through a master cleanse right now. That's why it seems like it's so unsettling for some people. You notice stuff on, I, I don't... I don't watch the news, but you watch you know, stuff on social media and all kinds of just like seems like hell is breaking loose. But source is saying to you, get a good handle on your emotions and really sit down with self cancer and decide what makes you feel nurtured, protected and secure in every space. Right. Be so crystal clear with how you feel when you're in spaces that you can easily detach. So if you are. Um, when you think about, I have to interact with certain uh, people, places, and things, and I'm already stressed out even thinking about it, then let them know, hey, this is not a time to come visit. This this is not a time. Maybe we can maybe we can connect at a later date, or we can connect on a you know at a different time. If you feel like if you have some leave hours or whatever at work, and you feel like full moon is not the best time to be at work because it's you know pattern of behaviors I've seen at work, it just seemed like it's chaotic and confusing, and coupled with the fact that. Pluto and Neptune are retrograde and people don't even realize they're breaking generational cycles, chains and curses. Maybe I want to schedule some time off, you know, um, if it just gets too much to be too much. But I do see I do see somebody looking at, um, you know, listening to how you feel and recognizing your healing abilities, cancer, and how you are a bright light in people's space in, in their in their lives. And they'll give you that feedback. People will keep coming back to you just like, you know what? I feel so, I feel like it's safe speaking with you. I feel like it's a safe space. I feel like it's a soft landing when I talk to you. I feel like when I share things with you, it doesn't go anywhere else. You know, I feel like your intentions are pure and sincere. That's where you want to stay. Source wants you to learn how to protect your water, your water signs are protected. Here we also have the Princess of Cups and we also have the Three of Cups. I do see, I do see for somebody love coming across your path, but that's if you want love coming across your path. Path, right um and i do see possibly like somebody spending some time on a beach just kind of kind of retreat when you think about crab energy like i see looking at this crab right here you're just like retreating to a beach right just relaxing maybe got some coconut water <laughs> there you know and just replenishing you know uh, all of what you poured out and healing and helping so many other people cancer so do what works best for you because full moon can be exciting but can also be draining if you allow other people and their toxicity in your universe they're just dumping all their problems and issues and things on you here we have the king of pentacles the two of pentacles the knight of pentacles the judgment card we also have the ten of wands and we also have the nine of cups um this is what you're moving towards king of pentacles king of any king queen of any element here air fire water earth is it takes a minute to get back to your throne because this right here time being money somebody is so uh disciplined when it comes to their time that it's it you, you know how to it's already balanced out meaning that i'm not rude to people but 
again, I can balance out my time. I'm, I'm very busy, but I can balance it out in a way that doesn't come across as rude or like a person who is toxic, like, like my water is not toxic. I do see somebody moving, like physically moving south of wherever you are right now, whether it's south to a different city, south to a different state, um, something south, like get your compass out wherever you are, look at a map. You can be moving to a different country, but I see you moving south, like packed up and moving. And I do see you booked and busy, lots of duties and responsibilities, but not overwhelming. And I see right here, you're again, breaking generational cycles, chains and curses. Somebody is gonna start understanding why certain family members have broken off from the core family and moved on and kind of stepped out and did their own thing. Not necessarily because of rebellion, it's just an awakening that you, you're having. Again, breaking generational cycles, chains, and curses, you're going to feel like you hit the jackpot. Emotionally, you're going to feel like you hit the jackpot because you're away from unnecessary stresses. You could be physically moving your business to another location, right? And so, and then all of a sudden, it's just like a financial explosion, like, oh my God. Like, why didn't I move here sooner? Like, why didn't I? You're already a hardworking person. This is the Knight of Pentacles and also the Two of Pentacles. An additional stream of income, again, is coming across your path. So get ready for, you know, if you're a person who, you know, overanalyzes things or um, you're around a bunch of naysayers or people who are, you know, like I said, dumping off their heavy emotions into your universe and you don't know how to flush that out on a daily basis listening to your cleansing music you know drinking a lot of water those kind of you you easily hot dehydrated like i said before source is saying to you a lot of great things are coming your way but if you're overthinking it like you're overdoing it like that that extra air is evaporating your creativity it's evaporating your joy it's evaporating your sensuality it's evaporating healthy range of emotions when you overthink things just do it take action right stop overthinking it and just do it we have some kind of an approval is coming across somebody's path and the approval is coming from source for more money and probably to start a business or some kind of organization or to move. I mean, like be somewhere where you feel like, OK, I'm loving my place here on Earth, like this physical something like that could be a business for somebody It could be moving into a house. You're just leaving behind a whole lot of hurt, a lot of um loved ones talking about you behind your back you know loved ones could be friends it could be an organization you were a part of it could be whatever it is just a bunch of back talking you know you know you know the term anyway and the people gonna have to a tower moment there could definitely be some organizations that's gonna have a tower moment it's like wow you know actually cancer is doing better off you know but when they were when you were a part of it it, it, that's just that's just part of the game you know people play you know if they're too afraid to move on they're too afraid of looking like the what's the term black sheep or whatever they will try to drag you down to that same level of misery with them but source is saying a lot of judgment is on these energies right judgment card came out twice right judgment card came out twice source is saying to you there's some energies in your life and, and you have a feeling but source is saying, source is like promoting you, like, but demoting those energies. Like, for instance, what I'm seeing here, you know, and there's quite a few people, by the way. Here you are, this nurturing energy, this, this right here. You see Yimmy out, right? Here you are, this nurturing energy, right? You give people all the water that they need to, whenever they're thirsty, spiritually, spiritually thirsty or dehydrated, um, you, you get, you're, you're there for them. Like you, you have this large container of fresh water, you know, for them. And so you're the energy that is like mother to all that kind of energy. This right here, mama Watson, you, you're like this, this nurturer to all somebody really needs their spirit felt felt. When we think about the first time you experience water is in a womb, right? You're, that's how people feel around you. They feel like they feel nurtured. They feel protected. They feel secure, right? And I'm talking to men and women cancers, by the way, so I don't want men to think. I'm not, is she talking to me? Yes, in male form, right? So those are people are going to start to realize is how nurturing you were. Like sometimes people get upset and frustrated, like you're just smothering me. You're, you're, you're doing too much. But when they are detached, when you have detached from them and they have to deal with other people who are seeing them as a cash cow, seeing this working them to the bone, like working them like a workhorse 
or they feel like they're the ones that's being mistreated, then all of a sudden they start missing that fresh water that you have to offer. So you have to really, really protect your energy. You have to really learn how to protect your energy. Because otherwise, like I said before, it's, it's quite a few people that's going through like an awakening. Like quite a few people that's having an awakening. Here we have the Magician card and also the Knight of Cups. The only person that can save you is you. And, you you, and, and that's what you're teaching them is like, you know, when you had access to my fresh water, my joy, my happiness, my... Uh, wide range of healthy emotions for some of for some people sensu sensuality when people had access to that because they could not pull themselves away for numerous reasons it could be it, they could have been under spell we don't even need to get into all of that for whatever reason why people could not see your value when you worked you know romantically friendships whatever if they could siblings whomever they didn't see your value now they won't have an opportunity to. Here we have the Magician card. Clear messages are coming through to you about energies. Everything you try to tell people, they ain't want to listen. What you supposed to do with that, right? You're not going to keep talking until you're blue in the face. Bottom line is that I see you moving on. I see you moving on. Like I said, you said, you know what? You burned me. See this person right here? You've been enlightened three times at least. Enlightenment means a lot of things. It can mean just like, okay, it can be like a... a blowtorch burn where a person tells you i don't need you stop helping me it can be that kind of thing it could be a you keep seeing every time i interact with this energy i feel burned out i get i, I feel like i feel built up and then i just get let down the flame goes out whatever it is source is saying you are having an awakening that's your tower moment of where to put your energy as a healer that's where you're putting your energy as a healer here we have the high priestess we have the ace of cups the seven of swords the nine of coins and also the queen of coins and also the lover's card lover's card is about partnerships partnerships in business and or in love and so i see some kind of partnership coming your way so get excited about your own future because again i see booked and busy and not burdened at all by other people's heaviness of what they're bringing into your universe right high priestess energy source is saying to you and it came out twice you are um you and somebody else could have a lot of high, be highly intuitive right so you may be coming across like some kind of business partnership where you and another highly intuitive purpose are working together right maybe it's not a you're not calling it per se a healing business it could be but it could also be um it could also be whatever whatever the title of if the business is here we have the nine of coins but it's going to bring financial independence to somebody right so Get clear about what your life purpose is. That's what this tower card is about. Get crystal clear about why you exist here on planet Earth. A lot of people are still stumbling around in the darkness. They have no idea. They'll tell you what their job title is. They'll tell you how many degrees they have. They'll tell you who they're married to. They'll tell you everything else except what their purpose is. Oh, I think my purpose is to have children. That's not... Okay, that plays some role. I think my purpose is to be married or my purpose was to be on this job and make, you know, seven figures. Okay, I mean, but why are you here? What 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 God given gifts and talents did Source give to you? Do you, God given talents that you have that's going to help make this world a better place? Do you are you? Is it your is it your healing smile? Is it your your tone of voice? Is it that you know you bringing sunshine into every room you you come into? Like what what is your purpose? Right. So anyway, source is saying, I see you moving on from some highly manipulative energy. That's what I see. Right. And I see you carefully vetting every thought that comes across your mind. This is the queen of swords. We also have the ace of cups. Again, source is saying to you, protect your energy, protect your energy, protect your energy, protect your energy. Cause you just have this, like I said, very mothering, very nurturing energy to people that people can't take for granted until you decide I need to detach then that's their wake up call, right? However they read into it and however they see it, that's their wake up call. Hey, I'm no longer over nurturing something. You know, I get excited about, you know, talking to you and I get excited about being in your presence, but you show me that I'm not, you know, whatever, I need to move on. Let's close it out. All right, again, happy Motivational Monday. Monday readings are an extension of Sunday's video. So if you haven't watched Sunday's videos, please go watch it. Because a lot of people are having a tower moment, right? So in your tower moment is that you are a healer for somebody. You know, you're here. So positive affirmations, 41. Positive affirmations, say them to yourselves. I'm going to give you affirmations at the end of, I give affirmations at the end of every reading. But yeah, this full moon in Pisces, 
Like I said, it's going to be crystal clear as to what overwhelms you in your spirit and what doesn't. Detachment. There it is. With detachment, you finally feel whole inside with or without the fulfillment of a particular desire. Ironically, that's when it's fulfilled. <laughs> so yeah, so somebody gonna stop, you know, spinning their wheels and getting frustrated and just say, hey, listen, I, I, the I feel sign. I know it feels good to, it's going to boil down to this. I know it feels good and what doesn't. The end. Okay. <laughs> you don't even have to overcomplicate this. I feel good when I'm talking to people, places, and things. Even if you've heard negative things about people, you know how you feel in spaces, that compassion that you have. We got so many people out here that's falsely judging people. They're like, okay, well, I heard this about them and I heard that about them. Your interaction can be significantly different. And so, but if you're a person that's waiting for something bad to happen because you think the whoever told you something negative about a person is a reliable source, you also might want to consider that maybe those energies, whoever those energies are, are on two different frequencies, right? You got to, so anyway, moving forward. Believe in the impossible because things are happening. Get your throat chakra together. Start talking more. Start communicating more. You know, but you and somebody, either in love or in business, something is happening here that somebody's going to be feeling like emotionally they hit the jackpot. <laughs> so it's nice. This is very nice. Number one, I am innovative. You are a self-starter with very innovative ways of creating opportunity. Your determination and endurance cancer are very powerful and it'll help you get through rough times and reach success. That's right. It'll help you reach success. So some energies that were very, very stubborn are, you know, like I said, it's too many moving parts when it's not just as cut and dry as a person was being stubborn. A lot of it is, like I said, breaking generational cycles, chains, and curses. If their parents were very stubborn or a parent was stubborn or the grandparent or something was stubborn and they just feel like they need to be struck by lightning before all of a sudden they get it, well, everything that you've been trying to tell them for however long, and then all of a sudden all hell is breaking loose in their life and they're like, oh my God. They may, not, they may be too proud to come back to you, Cancer, and say, oh shoot, you know what? You were right. You don't, you don't, need, to, you don't need to be the I told you so. All you need to know is that, you okay, well, I mean, I just know it. I already knew it within myself, you know? So then at that point, you have to be the person to decide how you're going to proceed moving forward. Do you just keep, you know, having the tower moments that I, you know, coming back, I told you so moments or it's up to you. Where do you want to put your energy? Affirmations for stress. I release what I can't control. I release tension in my body. I relax my jaw and I clench my teeth. I allow my shoulders to be heavy. I breathe in gratitude and exhale pressure. Stress is temporary. I welcome stress-free days into my life. I am counting my blessings. Great things are happening to me. See, when you move on, eventually the, the energy is very proud. I can't believe, you know, cancer is, and I'm talking to you, by the way, if you have cancer anywhere in your birth chart, not just your sun, moon, rising, or Venus, anywhere in your birth chart. I can't believe cancer just detached. They must not care about me. They might not love me. And I would have done all of this. And I would have done all of that. If I could have, would have, should have, whatever. Bottom line is sources saying to you, sometimes people don't hear you. I mean, like really hear you until you have exited the building, right? You have detached from their universe completely and said, you know what? I'm more loyal to my purpose here on earth because in that light, I can see everything and I can see everybody's intentions. I literally can see everything in my light, right? I can, I can hear what people are not saying to me. I can see what they're not showing me. I can see it all. Source is showing you all of that, right? And I'm telling you, it's going to be some, it's going to be some, when I say tower moment, you know, I could really extend this reading. It's going to be some, it's going to be some, when I say awakenings for some people, some people, that's why you hear some people say when they have a tower moment, it's like, oh my God, I'm having a tower moment. And, and I just, because they just being disobedient. You try to tell them, it's like the sky try to tell them, the rain try to tell them, the sun try to tell them, the earth try to tell them. They didn't want to hear anything. There was a burning bush in their face. They still didn't get it. You know, a donkey was trying to talk to them. They didn't get that. It came through a dream and an ancestor. They didn't get that. Like no sign under the sun that God was sending them were they getting until you decided I needed to exit stage left, right? Until your manager knew when you submitted that letter of resignation, you were not playing anymore about you. All of a sudden, 
oh, uh, well, I, I know you said you wanted to have a meeting about something, but you got some managers that are so arrogant that they will try to they will try to play more head games with you before you leave. Whatever it is, you got to make a firm decision and stand on something, Cancer. And I, that's what I'm saying that somebody has done. Somebody is hugging themselves. This this card is attached to Gemini. Gemini, we're not talking about any Gemini's that you know. The message Gemini is uh, ruled by Mercury. Mercury is currently retrograde, and it's the messenger planet, and it's the um, it is the communication planet, but it's also knowledge and learning planet, right? So the message that you're sending, because this is a sender sign, the message that you are sending about out into the universe is that I love myself more than I love you, right? And if I don't make sure self is good, it's going to be hard for me to nurture anybody outside of self if, if self is not good. If I don't feel whole and complete, Gemini symbol are the twins, divine masculine, divine feminine. It, it, it's about balance, duality. If me and my inner child are not good, then I can't see how I can help you. If my inner child feels unnurtured, insecure, or unsafe, or vulnerable, then then I can't help you until we feel good, until we, until, and, and I can effectively communicate that to you, right? So there are going to be some family members that you're no longer interested in helping them anymore. And all of a sudden, you're the devil incarnate. You don't care. You easily detach from people. See, that's why nobody likes you. Then it's all coming out. But they've been showing you the whole time that their love for you is conditional. So, or, or you know, well, whoever, whatever. Like I said, some people have left jobs. Their manager try to pretend like they care at first until they realize that letter of resignation was for real. Like you weren't just, that wasn't just a bait and switch. That wasn't like you were just threat. It wasn't a threat. You already found, found something else. You've already decided in your heart and soul, I'm not staying here. Then all of a sudden they try to stain little, you know, silly, un immature antics again. Bottom line is you're focusing on self. Numero uno is who you are focusing on. No and ifs and buts about it. You're letting whoever think whatever, but you're moving on. See, somebody is going to be like, oh my God, I can't believe you actually moving on. Yeah, I, I try to tell you, you know, like I said, it's not the whole I told you so. Like you're not trying to make people feel bad, but just more or less like... Listen, I, I really tried. I, I really, really tried, but I just don't feel protected. I don't feel secure and nurtured in your universe. I've already tried to communicate with you. It's like it was just falling on deaf ears. You know, yeah, I'm just not doing that. Here we have number nine. So yeah, not everything as it may seem. Be cautious, dear one, for there's a story beneath the tale. That's what I'm trying to tell you is that it can be, it's so many moving parts to it. Um, it's so many moving parts to it, you know, um, and let me just, when I say it, there's a, let me just make sure I'm, cause I got to back, it's step back for a second. When I say falling upon deaf ears, that is not to offend anybody. Let me be crystal clear. We're talking about spiritually hearing impaired, right? Um, when, when people, when we're talking about ear, nose and throat, we're talking about that throat shocker. You've been talking, talking, talking until you are blue, almost feel like you blew in the face. And spiritually, their throat chakra is so out of alignment. It's like you are literally talking, speaking two different languages and nobody understands. Like you, you just talking, 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 but you, to them, sound like Charlie Brown's teacher. And so at this point, okay, I'm, I need to stop talking and I need to take action. No more audible expression. Remember when I was, if, you, if you've been tuned into my channel when I talk about throat chakra, it's not just about audible expression. It's also about, okay, if you didn't hear me the first 15,000 times I said it, okay, guess what? There won't be 15,001. <laughs> Next thing you know, I'm, I'm detaching. If that's all you understand is detachment. If that got your attention loud and clear, then whatever. But I'm, I'm not exhausting myself. I'm not draining myself because somebody is at a point of spiritual dehydration, and but not anymore. Somebody's getting ready to focus on self, replenishing your own water and not looking back. So kudos and congratulations to you, Cancer. But on to bigger and better things. Somebody's going into some kind of partnership, some kind of healing, something. Again, the title of it, you have to make up whatever title you're making up. 
but source is saying that some kind of you doing some kind of partnership in business or partnership in love is coming somebody's way and there will be people that you feel like they feel like you're harshly judging them but guess what they out of your universe so you're not judging them at all that's out of your universe right so two any two energies in particular it could be more than that but it, it's like the two energies that are very stubborn and bullheaded who are chained to their demons Whatever that may be, whatever their demons are, they chain to their fear, doubt, uncertainty. They got every excuse under the sun as to why they cannot move in faith. That energy is very contaminating. First, you all excited. You about to do a skydive. You all excited about the person like, oh, oh what if we die? Well, what you come up here for? <laughs> well, Okay, you decide to take swimming lessons with a person, but what if I drown? Okay, now they just sow the seed in your, your universe, and now, well, what if we drown, right? Well, why you come if you're that scared? Like, okay, you should have worked all of that out before you trying to contaminate me. Well, okay, well, let's start a business together. You get right there. Oh, well, you know, my cousin just told me that when they try to start the same business, the business is like grand opening and grand closing. Okay, why didn't you work all of that out before you got to here? Like, why? why okay, if you want to back out, let's get the paperwork together. Just go ahead and back out. <laughs> I'm going to still be successful regardless. That's what I'm seeing for you right here, Cancers. I will see you all on Midweek Wednesday. But again, happy Motivational Monday. You got a lot of great things coming forward. You've already poured a lot into certain people. If they don't get it, this is not your time to keep pouring and pouring and pouring until there's nothing left. Because what happens is not only do they are they do e eventually resent you, the next energy that comes along, meaning whatever you're watching on social media, television, radio, whatever, that comes in through that ear gate or that eye gate, emotionally, that's now manipulating your emotions, right? So that's why when you like, you could be a person who is, you know, a nonviolent person, but all, this, all of a sudden you watching all of this entertainment on television where people are violent, all of a sudden you start to take on those same, you know, you're not protecting your ear gate and eye gate. But anyway, that's what I have for you. And I'll see you all on Wednesday. Bye.